Hey guys, this is Raphael here with Rain Corporation, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Pulse Fader Serato DJ effects with our new Rain TTM57 MK2. Now, the first thing you want to do is set up your favorite effects list. So go into the Serato DJ setup, click on Effects, and make sure you check the option that says Use Favorite Effects Lists. All right, now notice the effects on the left. They each have three dots or one dot. The one dot actually represents a single effects mode, and that's what you're going to use with the 57MK2. As you can see, I've already built my effects list, but what you want to do is click on the effect you want and click the Add button. Make sure that you do this in the order that you want it to, to show up inside of the software. All right, I've already created my list, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Distortion and remove it from there because I don't want it there. Now, click on Setup to go back to the main screen. Make sure your 57 MK2 is turned on, plugged in, and Serato DJ is recognizing it. Once you're there, click on the Effects button in the top left corner to show and hide your effects list. All right, so now that my effects are showing, controlling it from the mixer is actually really easy. This effects knob here is where you're going to do most of your controlling. So press it down to open the list. When the list is open, you'll see this button flash, so that's a visual indicator that your list is open. You're ready to scroll to the effect that you want. Scroll left and right to get to where you want to go. I'm going to select Echo. Press this down to actually load the effect. Now the effect is loaded and ready to go inside of Serato DJ. Now you can twist this to turn the effect up or down. Okay, I'm going to use the Echo effect, and I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to go ahead and play this loop so you guys can hear it. And to apply the effect or actually turn it on, all you have to do is press this on button here and it will stay lit. If I drop the fader, you're going to hear it echo out and slowly tail away. Let's hear that again. Now I can adjust that tail in the software by moving the feedback up or down. I can also go to a different effect if I want to. Press this down to select the effect that I want. I'm going to go to pan delay. Now that it's selected and loaded, all I have to do is turn this knob up to get my level right. Let's hear the loop. I'll press the on button to trigger it. So once again, make sure you check that out, Post Fader Rain DJ Effects with Serato DJ. This is Raphael signing out. Peace.